David Benavidez and Caleb Plant, man, they going in on each other. These two, you know, they've been beefing for years and years. They didn't have beef inside, you know, boxing gym while they was training. They've gone back and forth, calling each other every name in the book. Now, coming up this weekend, January the 30th, we got Caleb Plant, 20 and 0, 12 KOs. He'll be stepping in the ring with former champion Caleb Truex, who is 31 and 4 with 19 KOs, right? Now, on March the 13th, we got David Benavidez. He's back in the ring and he's going to be facing Ronald Ellis, who is 18 and 1 with 12 KOs. And once again, that's on March the 13th. Now, David Benavidez and Caleb Plant, they've been at each other's throat, like I said, for years. And they've really been going in on each other lately. Now, I'm just going to play the audio and let y'all hear what they both had to say about each other. We just never liked each other, you know, I feel like I've been trying to get that fight for a long time and we've been hyping it up for almost four years. So I feel like the time to make the fight happen is now. Um, I don't like him. He doesn't like me. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, that fight has to be made. It has to be made. We're in the same promotion company. It should be no problem getting it made, you know, but Caleb Plant wants to fight. You know, he wants to fight these weak opposition like Andy Lee or Mike Lee. Then he goes and fights fights. Now he's fighting uh, Caleb Truex. You know, was, he didn't even make it to his last fight. You know, he um, passed out, you know, trying to make the weight. And he didn't even make it to the, the, the last fight. But, you know, that's the type of opponents he's going with. I feel like I'm the best. You know, I, I don't have my belt no more. But I feel like still I'm top five, you know, super middleweight in that, in that division right now. So I feel like I'm the, I'm the one who really deserves that fight. Top. Uh, it's just the way he is. I've never liked the type of person he is. He just, he just thinks he's the shit. You know, he thinks he's the best. You know, he talks like he's a killer. But, you know, he has 23 fights with 10 knockouts. You know, so he's really not a killer like that. It's just the way that he is. I don't like, I just want to shut his mouth up. That's all I want to do. And that's what's going to happen. Maybe. Like about, I would say like about a year or a year and a half uh, when Sansom said that uh, the time wasn't cooked, you know, for the fight. We had to promote a little bit. David had to do a little bit better. Uh, Caleb Plant had to do a little bit better. Now he's trying to use that as we don't want to fight. We are ready to fight Caleb Plant. I already reached to our promoter. Um, uh, we talked to Al Heyman. We talked to Luis de Cubas. And we want to make this fight, this fight happen. They agree with it. He just has to say yes. We already said yes to the fight, you know, so the only one that has to agree to the fight is Caleb Plant. You know, he wants to fight with Canelo, which, you know, Canelo, I think, beats him as well, but it's too much, I feel like it's too much of a danger for him to fight me because he's not going to beat me. That way, if he doesn't, you know, I beat him, then he lost his opportunity at Canelo. That's why he don't want to make the fight happen. It's plain and simple, you know. He's saying... Who'd he fight his last fight? <laughs> Who'd he fight? Yeah. Romer and who's 36 years old? So, was he a former world champion like Caleb Truex? Has he ever upset a world champion? So, he's so quick. You know, these guys, these dudes are so quick to pass judgment. But, you know, who who is Romo Angulo, a 36-year-old who's never upset a world champion, never been a former world champion, a nobody, you know? And, yeah, I know what you're about to say. He wants to fight me. He thinks that me and him should fight and the winner should fight Canelo. But why isn't Canelo saying his name? And... Nobody can say, well, Canelo said he doesn't want to fight any Mexicans. If David Benavidez had a world title around his waist, Canelo would be calling his name because, as you said before, his plans is to become the first undisputed super middleweight of all time, correct? So yeah. if David had a belt, Canelo would be calling his name. Why isn't Canelo calling his name? Because he's irrelevant right now. Canelo has bigger fish to fry. He wants to fight Billy Joe, and he wants to fight me. Well, right now I have bigger fish to fry. I'm fighting January 30th against a back-to-back -back mandatory. And then me and Canelo are looking to do our thing. So it doesn't matter what he wants. I don't care what he wants. You know, I said this in the other interview. I wanted the Titans to make the second round of the playoffs, but they lost what they, you know what I'm saying? They didn't do their, they weren't able to get it done. So now they got to sit off to the side and wait. And so he can sit off to the side and wait. He's on my shit list and I'll get to him in due time. But as of now, he done lost his world title to cocaine. And then he got a freebie and got it handed back to him. And then he lost his title on the scale. So you don't get to just keep skipping the line, skipping the line, skipping the line. If I would have tested positive for cocaine, if I would have lost my belt on the scale, I wouldn't be here right now. Mm -hmm. I, w I wouldn't be giving, keep getting freebies like he's been getting. So he's going to have to wait off to the side. I will gladly bust his ass. 
but he's gonna have to wait because right now I got bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. So I held up my end of the bargain. I did what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I live a disciplined life. I don't miss weight. Everyone knows me, know that I, I train year round. I, I'm a disciplined fighter. I've held up my end of the bargain. We were getting closer and closer and closer to making that unification fight. And then Samson comes out on barbershop conversations saying, uh, no, I don't want David to fight him right now. That fight needs to get bigger. Uh, there needs to be more money involved. They don't need to fight right now. They don't need to fight right now. That's his handler saying that. That's his promoter. Mm -hmm. You never heard anybody on my team saying that. So I don't know what his deal is, but he'll have to wait. He'll have to get to. He'll have to get in line, and he'll have to wait because he's not calling the shots. So seems like. Woo! Them boys going in. See, now you heard it, and you know this is a fight. This is one of my top fights out of every fight in boxing that I want to see. I've been wanting to see this fight for a long time because everybody know where I stand with this. David Benavidez, he is a hell of a talent, hell of a fighter in the ring. He a fucking beast. But I think, you know, styles make fights. And I say, Caleb Plant, you know, Caleb Plant gonna get him. Caleb Plant got too many tricks in the bag. He too slick and... I just think that David Benavidez, he get hit too much, and you know, he ain't got that footwork. Um, it's a lot of things that Caleb Plant can do to David Benavidez, you know, that's gonna cause him a lot of problems, you know? Um, but if they ever do get in the ring, it's gonna be a hell of a fight. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. You know, this is a true 50-50 fight because either one of these dudes can come out with the victory. But as far as what they had to say, you know, I mean, um, they said a lot. They said a lot. Obviously, they can't stand each other. But, you know, Caleb Plant, you know, he, he got a good point here. He got a good point. You know, just like he said, he did his part. Caleb Plant did his part. He didn't won all his fights. He didn't make weight. He didn't kept his nose clean, you know. And it ain't Caleb Plant's fault that when they did have the fight set up, when they was going to fight, you know, one time, like he said, and like you even heard uh, David Benavidez Jr.'s dad even admit this, right? You heard his dad admit it. He said, look, you know, um, our promoter at one point in time, he wanted the fight to build more. But you heard Caleb Plant said we was ready for the fight then. But your promoter came on here talking about that he wanted to wait for the fight to build more. That ain't his fault. And then, you know, it ain't Caleb Plant's fault that David Benavidez, he couldn't keep his nose clean, you know? Ain't nobody tell him to put cocaine up his nose. That ain't his fault. And then it also is not Caleb Plant's fault that David Benavidez lost his titles on the scale. Now he's not a champion no more. He don't have no belt, which is still a hell of a fight you know just off gp just for them to get in in there and tear each other apart because they don't like each other but boxing is a business right and like caleb plant said david benavidez right now you're not relevant to him because he going after them titles right who would you rather pick a canelo alvarez or a david benavidez that's a no-brainer so, you know, don't get mad at Caleb Plant because he pushing you to the side right now because he got bitter, bigger and better things on the table. That's just common sense. I mean, who wouldn't go for it? Y'all understand that, but you seem bitter and mad. And another thing is how you gonna talk about who Caleb Plant fighting and who he ain't fighting when you not fighting nobody yourself. You feel me? Ain't nobody never heard of no Ronald Ellis. And like I said, I fuck with you, David Benavidez. But let's keep it 100. Ain't nobody never heard of Ronald Ellis, right? Who is he? So, like Caleb Plant said, at least he's fighting a former world champion. People know who Caleb Truex is. It ain't the best fight, but he did explain that it is his mandatory, and he explained why he's facing back-to-back -back mandatories. He said that he's facing another mandatory so he can get it out of the way, right? So with him facing Caleb Truex, right, he go in there and do his thing, do what he's supposed to do against Caleb Truex. He won't have to worry about another mandatory for a whole nother year. And we all know that 
the IBF, when you hold the IBF strap, that mandatory, they don't play with that mandatory shit. They'll fuck around and strip you real quick. So, I mean, it make a lot of sense, right? You can't talk about somebody not fighting somebody when you doing the same thing on your end. Whatever the circumstances may be, you still not fighting nobody. I know a lot of these guys don't want to fight you, but the circumstances is still the same. You can't talk about what he doing and what he not doing if you in the same boat. But like I said, we all want to see y'all fight. But at the end of the day, he said, Caleb Plant said that he going to go and take care of business with Canelo. And then he going to come back around and get in your ass. You feel me? He said, yeah, he ain't going to forget about you. He going to come back around and get in your ass. Because he still want to fight you, but he got bigger and better things on the table. And you know, everything that that man Caleb Plant said, it make more than a lot of sense. And you know, I mean, like he said, he not responsible for what David Benavidez does in his career. You know, that's all up to David Benavidez and the people that surrounded, you know, with him and the people that's on his team to look after him, to keep his nose clean, you know, to make sure that he make weight. Caleb Plant, he doing everything that he got to do on his end. So with all of that being said, you know, like I said, a lot of people, they disagree with me. They think that David Benavidez is going to walk through Caleb Plant for some reason, but I don't see it that way. But it's still a great fight, a fight that needs to happen. Um, I just really hope this fight happen and it's going to be fireworks if this fight does ever happen. Y'all let me know, you know, how bad y'all want to see this fight. Y'all let me know who y'all think will win this fight when they do get in the ring with each other. And don't forget to hit my like button. Until next time, y'all already know what it is. There you go talking that boxing again.